Alright, what is going on guys? So we're back to another content creator program video. In today's video, we're going to be talking all about Sunspot. So the newest champion coming to the game, he is another mutant. The mutant class is getting crazy strong now, it's ridiculous. Uh, the other classes need some love, <clears throat> Mystic. But uh, dude, Sunspot, he's really cool. Like animation wise, he, he just look at this character model, man. Look at that, he just looks so cool. Uh, he looks like a void in a suit on fire like that's what he looks like he like, like the character void in a suit on fire like it's just awesome he looks just so cool uh so first of all yeah the animations are awesome but we have uh two slight disclaimers now when we're going to talk about this character so the first one is that all the gameplay i'm going to be showing you guys is of a rank three five star champion rank three level 45 so that's about the equivalent of a rank five four star so just keep that in mind keep that in the back of your mind because when I'm playing him, sometimes I'm like, wow, this damage is really good. And then I realize, I'm not even playing a 565. Like, I, I, I cannot wait to see this guy's a 565, man. I, I, I really can't. So keep that in mind, first of all. And then the second of all, the second disclaimer is that this one, it's a, it's a big stipulation when you play this champion. You don't want to be running suicides. Uh, no suicides. This guy is a no-go with the suicidos, man. You don't want to be running them for one specific reason, and that's specials. So when you run suicides, you know you have to run recoil. Every time you use a special attack with recoil, you lose 5% health. Uh, and this guy, man, to really ramp up his damage, you need to use about three special ones uh, at least. So that would be 15% of your health gone. Plus, he's not immune to bleed or poison, so there's you lose health at the start. Um... And then for your L2 is how you get off your big damage, uh, some more recoil. So yeah, just I don't advise using suicides with this character. So let's get into his abilities though. Without suicides, I think he's a very good champion. I'm not sure exactly where he's going to be fitting in. He's a little unique to play, uh, but I don't feel like he'll be like too ridiculous to play, you know? Like I feel like it'll be worth it to play him how you're supposed to, and it's not the worst. Uh, which I'll talk about more once we actually start playing him so I can show you guys. So here's his base stats. Nothing nothing crazy here. Pretty average stuff. Uh, synergy wise, he has some weird synergies where it's increased based on his signature level. So you definitely want to have this guy at max sig. You want to, the more sig levels, the better. He doesn't necessarily need to be awakened, but it'll just be a lot easier to play him if he's awakened. Um, so yeah, this one with the mutant champs, it increases his ability accuracy, so that can be cool for some mutants, I guess, if they have a chance to proc something on their specials, this will be, uh, this will help increase the chance, so it could be useful in, uh, for some characters in some scenario, who knows, it's good synergy to have in the game, uh, and then one here with science champions that increases, uh, these debuffs, the duration on them, which can be cool, uh, this one with Iron Man and... Captain America, when fighting villain champions, reduce the potency of any power sting damage over time effect, which is weird. Uh, but this synergy right here I like with Mephisto and Hela. Uh, all champions gain 125 critical rating, which is the normal crit rate synergy. Uh, but uh, if Sunspot is max sig, it goes to 325 uh, critical rating increase. So from one synergy, you're getting 325. So that's good. I like that synergy. It's basically like uh, two and a half uh, synergies in one where you only have to take one spot, so I like that. Uh, and then friends here, you get armor, which, who cares about armor? Uh, so yeah, let's talk about his actual abilities. So basically his signature ability just gives him more solar charges, which solar charges are very important. There's basically two mechanics to playing this character uh, and you, you wanna keep them both as high as possible. So he basically runs on solar charges. He needs solar charges to actually be doing damage uh, and basically to to, to play him, right? Uh, so you start the fight with your max solar charger. So if you're at max sig as a five star, uh, normally you start with 80, but you get 40 from the sig ability, so that takes you up to a grand total of 120 uh, to work with. So that's great, you wanna have those. Um, so at Sunspot's base, he's immune to all incinerate, uh, which is good, that's his only immunity though. Unfortunately, he's not immune to cold snap like Human Torch is. Um, so at, at any time he would be incinerated, he gains some solar chargers, which is good. Uh, so Sunspot starts to fight with his maximum solar chargers and one charge expires every three seconds, which isn't too bad. Um, but once you start building him up, you start going through solar charges like crazy. So you really gotta be on top of managing them. Uh, so flare state. Basically what flare state is, 
uh, it's you have to build it up by using your special ones, so that's why I'm saying he's not really good uh, with suicides. And flare state is just gives you more attack. So spun spot maintains flare state for as long as he has solar charges. And if you run out of solar charges, you lose all your flare states. So you gotta keep the you gotta be on top of keeping these up, right? Uh, if under the effects of shock or when running out of solar charges, uh, flare state is disabled and all stacks are removed. As long as you have uh, as long as you don't hit zero solar charges, you're okay. Uh, it kind of it's kind of weird that it says running out. That means like if you hit zero, uh, and then yeah, you don't want to be shocked. Uh, so whenever Sunspot's attack make uh, contact with his opponent, he expends one solar charge per hit for each stack of flare state. Each charge expended uh, increases the damage of that hit by 589. So remember, this is as a rank three five star. So that number 589 is in green. So it's only going to increase as he gets leveled up. Uh, but basically, it just makes his basic attacks uh, and his special attacks hit harder. The more flare state that you have, and the more flare state that you have, the more incinerates you are putting on the opponent, uh, and the more solar charges you are expending. So it, let's say you have five flare state, you hit the opponent one time with one medium attack. Uh, you're going to use up five solar charges, and you're going to apply five incinerates on the opponent. So that's kind of how that works. Uh, so incinerates. When striking the opponent, inflicting incinerate for each solar charge expended. And like I said, when you have flare state, you're expending uh, more solar chargers, so more incinerates getting applied, uh, dealing 117.8 .8 energy damage for five seconds. So that may sound like a very little incinerate, and it is. Uh, it's this guy does not get da his damage from the incinerates. The in incinerates are just puny damage. Like they're not there for the damage; they're there to help his other abilities. Um, so, uh, incinerates remove perfect block chance and lower the opponent's block proficiency, which is cool if you need to hit in the opponent's block for some reason. Uh, if strike fails to apply, incinerate on the opponent due to chance, or whenever any incinerate is purified, gain 10% of a bar of power and one solar charge. So this is extremely important. Basically what this means is it's better to get rid of the incinerates on your opponent than to let them do damage. Uh, and so how you purify incinerates, because not every champion has a purify mechanic, uh, like, uh, yeah, it's not every champion does. So when you charge a heavy attack, well, charging a heavy attack, Sunspot purifies one incinerate debuff on his opponent every 0 0.18 seconds. So charging your heavy attack is going to pull the incinerates off the opponent, and it's going to give you... 10% power, 10% uh, of a bar of power, and it's also going to give you a solar charge back each one you take off. Uh, and remember, uh, you're using solar charges to apply them, so when you take them off, you're basically just getting those solar charges back, uh, which is good because you want to keep your solar charges up. Uh, but as Sunspot gains power, the potency of any power gained by uh, incinerates is reduced by up to 57%. And uh, if it wasn't, he would be insane. It'd be so easy to gain power. So uh, yeah, it, it's the power gain is still really good. Uh, but once you get to about two bars, it's 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 not as good. Uh, but when you're below bar power, man, you just shoot up so quick. It's it's great. Uh, and then on well-timed blocks, this is one of my favorite mechanics that Sunspot has. For as long as Sunspot's opponent is incinerated, you just need to have one on them. And, like, sometimes you'll have, like, 30 incinerates on the opponent. Like, it, it gets crazy. So having one of them is pretty easy to have. Uh, well-timed blocks grants 100% perfect block chance for the duration of the opponent's combo or special attack. Um, and when Sunspot performs perfect block, he purifies one incinerate debuff off his opponent. So that's another way to get to pull the incinerates off the opponent, which is what you want to do, because you get solar charges back. Um, but yeah, dude, this is this is such a cool ability. So let, let me give you an example. You know, the opponent fires off a special attack. Uh, you block. You pit. You want to parry the first part of it, and then the rest of it, it'll be perfectly blocked. Like let's say it's a uh, Green Goblin special one, you know, uh, or yeah, a special one. You parry the first hit, and then you can just perfect block the rest. Uh, or with his special two, someone who has an annoying special two to evade, you know, just parry the first hit, and then hold block, and you'll perfect block the rest, and you'll you'll purify incinerates, which is what you want to do. Uh, so yeah, that's great. Uh, really cool ability there. I, I really like perfect block. Uh, so special one, gain additional stack of flare state. This is the only way to gain flare state. If he had another way to do it, then maybe he could be more suicide friendly, but you have to get off these L1s to build up flare state, which is how you really increase your damage. Um, so yeah, the special one is extremely important. And incinerates inflict during the special attack last nine seconds longer. That's nice. Just 
more uptime on your incinerates than the opponent. Uh, the special two. So the special two is where you get the big damage from. Uh, the final hit expends up to 15 solar charges for each stack of flare state. Sunspot gains a prowess effect, increasing the damage dealt by this special attack by 200%. And you can have a maximum of 10 flare states. Uh, so that's 2,000% uh, special attack damage. You can, it would be increased by. So, like I said, this guy can hit really hard. Um, sunspot recover, and then with his special three, sunspot recover up to his maximum solar chargers. So uh, maxed out would be 120. Uh, and for every 20 chargers recovered, sunspot inflicts one incinerate debuff, dealing 1,100 energy damage over 12 seconds. And this isn't even like that much of damage. Like it's. <laughs> Incinerates are so puny. Uh, maybe it'll be better as a 565. Uh, but yeah, like I said, the incinerates are not there to do damage. They're just there to help your other abilities. You want to purify them to gain power. Uh, you want to have the incinerates just so you can have perfect block when you parry. That's really the main functions of the incinerate. It's not for them to deal damage. Um, so yeah, that's basically the abilities talked about. Now, uh, that might be a little hard to understand or maybe you don't like talking. So now we're gonna go over some gameplay and then I'll, I'll explain it more as I'm doing it, uh, help you understand more. It's, it's easy, it's a lot easier to understand as you're seeing it. Um, so yeah, let's go jump into some gameplay. All right guys, so uh, I'm gonna show you guys a full Winter Soldier kill so where I can really talk about what I'm doing and everything. But first I wanted to show you what's what kind of damage he's really capable of. So again, keep in mind that this is about the equivalent of a maxed out four star. Um, so yeah, I built up eight flare state, flare state stacks. Um, I also have a prowess from a synergy with Captain America, Infinity War. Uh, so we're about to launch a special two and just take a look at how much damage this deals. So first part, 36k, uh, non crit 14k, another crit 36k. And then the final crit was 76k. Let's go ahead and watch that again real quick. Uh, just look at that damage output, man crazy again this is about the equivalent of a four star champion uh awesome stuff like he i, I looked at my namor uh content creator program video and sunspot's doing more damage than namor does uh fully ramped up with his furies and uh his outrage so that's crazy so he can he can hang on the namor's level of damage output uh i don't think he quite has the utility that namor does but still some still he still has a good kit so yeah, the synergy I'm running some uh, some crit synergies with Hella, Wolverine, and Magneto, and then we also got the prowess synergy with Captain America, Beardo. So, start of the fight, basically what you want to do, throw a combo, and then you want to parry, right here he's not really dashing at me. Uh, so yeah, and then you want to start using heavy attacks. So heavy attacks are very, they're the key to playing Sunspot. Um, so yeah, we're getting off heavy attacks, and uh, so yeah, I'm going to perfect block his L2, or his L1, so that we can... Uh, purify some more incinerates and just the perfect block is pretty cool to do um so yeah stack up some more incinerates now we're gonna heavy then drop an l1 and we're, right now we're just trying to build up our flare state so in the first clip i showed you with all that damage i had i think i had about eight stacks of flare state up which is extremely difficult to maintain uh in most fights you're probably not going to be building up that many um i was just kind of doing that for fun to show you guys that kind of damage output but I, I think I think four is really the sweet spot because as you can see uh, our solar flares uh, our our solar charges sorry are, are expanding very quickly because for each hit now we apply four incinerates and we lose four stacks of uh, the solar charges and we don't want to hit zero if we hit zero we lose all the the, the <laughs> so much fire solar stuff we lose the stacks of flare state which we don't want to lose so we cannot let that hit zero so basically now i'm trying to get up to a special three without dropping to uh zero solar charges uh so here we go if i get up to an l3 go ahead drop this now once i drop my l3 i'll get all my solar charges back and then i can kind of breathe a little bit but that's really the battle with sunspot You're trying to manage your solar charges trying to keep track of everything trying to time everything and so it's kind of a lot like i said he's, he's kind of a little a bit difficult to play and to get off the damage but i don't think it's too unrealistic where it's not worth it i feel like it's, it's definitely worth it um so yeah after the special three uh we're built up right here I accidentally get hit did not mean to do that um but yeah so we're just gonna stay at four stacks of the uh flare state I'm not gonna go anymore because it's really hard to manage the solar charges if you go more than that um 
Yeah, we're going to drop an L2 here. And as you can see, it's still some really solid damage at only four stacks. Because those uh, prowess that we were getting, 200% per flare state, uh, is still huge, man. And just our basic attacks, as you can see, we're hitting pretty hard. Our heavy attacks are hitting decently hard. Uh, we're just getting some good base damage with four stacks. And again, this is about the equivalent of a four-star champion. Uh, like I, I seriously, I thought I was playing 565 at one point, like with his damage, and I had to realize this is not a 565, you know. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, I, I, I just I, I cannot wait to see him as a 565. I definitely don't think he's the best mutant in the game. Uh, I definitely think Namor is better and Omega Red's better and Domino is better. Uh, but I, I put him in the top five mutants. Um, I put him in the top five. Uh, he's not really an incinerate damage output champ. Like as far as incinerate damage, Human Torch would smoke him any day uh, for incinerate damage. But for just actual damage output, Sunspot could probably out damage him uh, once you really set him up. Because you see these L2s, man, they just they hit so hard. Uh, I, I, honestly, I cannot wait to see a 565s uh, with 10 flare stacks, uh, flare state stacks, drop an L2 and it fully crit. That would do an absurd amount of damage. Um, and yes, yeah, so you can pretty much see that's the cycle we go with. We had 35 incinerates up right there. Uh, really, once you build up, once you drop a couple L1s, you don't have to use them anymore. Then you're really just going to L3 and L2 and just kind of balancing the solar charges. And it's not too bad once you practice and get in the rhythm. It, it took a couple fights to really to kind of get, I'm still not used to him. It, he's he's kind of he's kind of difficult to play. You really got to practice with him to, to get everything down, which is good. It's good to have a champion that you can't just pick up and play and master. You know, it's good. I like a champion where you have to play them get used to them, build skills with them, uh, and it gives you a larger payoff, you know? So, yeah, overall, I think Sunspot's pretty good. Is he game-breaking? No. Is he cool? Yeah, great animations. Uh, some pretty good damage output if you build up to it. And some, some decent utility. Got the incinerate immunity going for him. Uh, and also that perfect block uh, can definitely is definitely going to come in handy in some situations, I'm sure. Um, he could be good for the new... Uh, the new f oh, I can't... It's... Pleasure to burn. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. The new node in map seven, where basically you just pretty much always want to have an incinerate on the opponent, or you get a big damage uh, cut. So yeah, he could be pretty good for that. Uh, he could be good for freezer burn, uh, as long as you're not hitting to the block. You don't have to worry about cold snap. So yeah, he's definitely gonna have a place in the game. Um, and yeah, so pretty good champion overall. His prestige is over ten thousand six hundred. I'm not sure the exact number, but it's pretty high. So, yeah, overall, I think he's a pretty good champion, but uh, I, I need to see him as a 565, see what kind of damage he's doing. I think it could be definitely worth it, but like I said, it's kind of difficult to play. Kind of got to get used to it. Uh, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Hope you did enjoy it. Let me know what you guys think of Sunspot. He's coming out already uh, on Thursday. His arena, I think, is coming out and his crystals. So, yeah, uh, it should be exciting to see. That's going to do it, though. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, drop a like. Uh, let me know your thoughts on Sunspot, if you think he's better than Human Torch or not. I, I don't think they're very similar. Uh, I don't think you can really compare them. They do different stuff. Um, but yeah, I thought they were going to be similar, but it uh, turns out he's not really incinerate damage heavy. Uh, his incinerates are more just for his utility. So that's going to do it, though. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you enjoy, subscribe if you like to see more content. Peace.